In this video we are going to talk about 10 surprising facts about Akitas. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The Akita Inu is thought to be one of the most strong dog breeds in the world. They have a commanding presence, but they are also considered a noble and dignified breed. However, there are many aspects of the Akita Inu that you may not be aware of. Number 10. The Akita Inu was brought to America by Helen Keller. Helen Keller is perhaps the most influential figure in the disability rights movement. Many things were known about the deaf and blind author, activist, and educator. Helen Keller, on the other hand, was a true dog lover. She has owned a number of canine breeds during her life, including German Shepherds, Great Danes, and others. Did you know, though, that she is responsible with importing the first Akita Inu to the United States? Keller was traveling Japan in 1937, lecturing about her struggles and how she overcame them. During her time in Japan, she had heard of Hachiko, a local legend Akita Inu who waited for his owner for nearly nine years at a train station. Keller was enamored with the loyal dog and desired one of her own. Keller was given an Akita puppy named Kamikazigo by the Japanese government before she departed the country. As a result, Kamikaze became America's first Akita. Number 9. At one point, only the super wealthy of Japan could own an Akita. Akitas were not only widely owned by Japan's elitists, but they were also monopolized by them. You were clearly an aristocrat if you had an Akita Inu in 17th century Japan. Akita Inus were once considered status symbols. These dogs were only allowed to be owned by the wealthy, and it was even enforced by the government. Commoners couldn't own these dogs because it was against the law. In fact, they were so adored that anyone who harmed an Akita was sentenced to prison. Japanese nobility would pay specialized caregivers to pamper and spoil their pet Akita Inus, much as they would their children. The emperor did not amend the law until the 19th century, allowing anyone to own an Akita Inu. Number 8. Twice, the Akita Inus was on the verge of extinction. Because they were so restricted to the elite in the 1800s, the Akita Inu almost became extinct. When the Japanese government discovered this, they tried everything they could to bring the renowned breed back to life. It all worked out in the end, yet this wasn't the first time these Japanese dogs had to deal with difficulties. Just when these dogs were beginning to thrive in their native land, World War II brought them to the verge of extinction once more. During the war, the authorities ordered that all non-military dogs be slaughtered. The Japanese government, for some reason, only wanted German shepherds to be used as military dogs. Some owners managed to keep their Akitas from being culled, but many more attempted to conserve the breed by breeding Akitas with German shepherds. All of the bombing raids, as well as the accompanying starvation, did nothing to benefit the breed. However, the breed was resurrected after all of this. They're not only quite popular as companion dogs in Japan, but they've also made their way all over the world. Needless to say, the Akita breed is still alive and well today. Number 7. Akita are renowned for their steadfast loyalty. There are numerous breeds of loyal dogs. There's the German Shepherd, the Doberman Pinscher, and the dependable Rottweiler, for example. When it comes to dog devotion, though, the Akita Inu may be the most well-known. The actual story of Hachiko the Akita is a good example of this. A professor from Tokyo Imperial University raised the dog. The owner would take the train to work every day, and the Akita would patiently wait for him at the train station. For a couple of years, this happened every day. Pachiko, on the other hand, continued to wait after the owner died one day at work. In fact, until his death, the Akita waited at the same train station every day for nine years. It's no surprise that Akitas are known for being extremely loyal dogs. Number 6. In Odate, Japan, there is a museum dedicated to the Akita Inu. The Japanese have a soft spot for Akitas, according to the popular legend of Hachiko. They adore these dogs to the point where there is a museum dedicated to them. The museum is really in Odate, Japan, which is where Hachiko was born. The museum not only honors the local folklore, but it also promotes the breed as a whole. 
There's a lot of art, documentation, and other information about these magnificent canines inside. The tourists are even greeted by genuine Akitas. Number 5. Insurance companies have reservations about the Akita Inu, yet. Dogs are without a doubt the most popular pets on the planet. There are nearly 90 million dogs in American households alone. What's more alarming is that over 4.5 million dog bites occur in the United States each year. When a dog bites and injures a person, a home's insurance claim is frequently made. There is, however, a list of dog breeds that insurance companies will not cover. While each insurance company's list may differ, Akita Inus are one of the most popular breeds to appear on these lists. The Doberman, Rottweiler, German Shepherd, Siberian Husky, Great Dane, and Pit Bull Terrier are among the other breeds. This does not imply that your Akita is a potentially harmful animal. It just means that they require greater attention in terms of socializing and obedience training. And, for the greatest results, begin training your Akita puppy as soon as possible. Number 4. In Japan, Akitas were utilized as combat dogs. Dog fights are still common in rural areas of Japan, despite the fact that they are prohibited in large cities such as Tokyo and Osaka. Although the Tosa Inu is the most well-known Japanese dog fighter, the Akita has also played a role in this underground subculture. In fact, many Akita warriors were crossbred with Tosa, earning them the moniker Shin Akitas. These canines possessed both the power and endurance of the Akita Inu and the Tosa Inu. They were some of the canine kingdom's best combatants. While we don't support dog fighting, it's comforting to know that dog fights in Japan aren't the same as those in the United States. Normally, dogs are separated before one of them is gravely damaged. Number 3. The Akita Inu is Japan's national dog breed. There's no doubting that the Akita Inu has a long and illustrious history in Japan. It's no surprise that they're the country's official dog breed. Japan's government even gives these dogs as diplomatic presents to foreign countries. For example, in 2012, Japan presented Russian President Vladimir Putin with an Akita Inu as a token of gratitude for the country's assistance to Japan following the devastating earthquake in 2011. While Japan has six native dog breeds designated as national treasures, the Akita is at the top of the list and has been declared as the national breed. The Shiba, Hokkaido Inu, Kaiken, Kishu Inu, and Shikoku are the other five breeds. Number 2. The Akita in Japan is not the same as the Akita in the United States. Did you know that the Akita comes in two different varieties? There's the original Akita Inu, and then there's the American Akita. The American Akita is a cross between the Japanese Akita Inu and the American Akita. There was a significant inclination and trend towards larger canines when these dogs arrived in America. To increase their size, they were crossed with other famous breeds like the German Shepherd. Despite the fact that the two Akitas are separate breeds with the American Akita being larger, they share many comparable qualities and traits. The most noticeable change, other from stature, is the face structure. American Akitas have a considerably larger head and smaller eyes than Japanese Akitas. Japanese Akitas, on the other hand, have a narrower fox-like face with almond eyes. Both varieties share the same aloofness and guard dog traits that people like in these dogs. And, most of all, they still have that incredible loyalty for which these dogs are famous. Number 1. According to Japanese folklore, samurais are frequently reborn as Akita Inus. The Japanese samurai were among the most honorable and disciplined warriors in history. They're famous for their fabled code of honor, which prioritized death over defeat and shame. But did you know that the Akita Inu was the inspiration for samurai soldiers? He was so taken aback by the Akita that they became an inseparable part of imperial samurai culture. For nearly five centuries, these dogs were made exclusive to samurai fighters, even before they were made exclusive to the wealthy. Samurais were so enamored with the Akita Inu that rumors of warriors being resurrected as Akitas began to circulate. They thought that if a samurai died dishonorably in battle, he or she would likely be reincarnated as an Akita in the next life. This gives them another chance to die defending their masters, who were, after all, samurai warriors. 
What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.